and Linda join some friends in visiting Jimmy Pesto's Pizzeria for a night out. They enjoy themselves in engaging and talking, and Bob is concerned with the atmosphere as he did not want to uh, eat at the rivalry's uh, pizzeria. However, while dancing, he noticed that Jimmy Pesto has mold on his wall. Therefore, he and Linda can take the opportunity to defeat him in the competitive advantage. Bob quickly gathers the team together to strategically plan how to get the upper hand on the competitive edge. But first, Tina is concerned about the growing crowd outside in regards to the health department. Tina informs that she thinks it would be a wise decision for him to address it. Bob, not really looking forward to that, looks for another opinion. Louise also agrees that he should address it. Going outside, he calmly tries to explain that it was a misunderstanding between the health department and the business advertisement. The crowd not really understanding, believing that he's trying to get over again. Yet, he calmly explains that there is no way that human flesh was inside any burgers. Once past that hurdle, he gets back to innovating new burgers and seeking out better ways to improve the company. He hires new staff by recruiting new members to help alleviate the load on the children and, and himself, giving them full empowerment to help with the company. They also try new innovative ways to create a crowd and seek creative uh, methods to win over new crowd. He also holds private parties and learns to communicate and deliver effectively with clients over the phone. Bob learns to not compete, but to rather advance in his own career in field. He becomes very popular with the company and his burgers. Bob is aware that he must continually plan innovative ways to gain success within his industry. Also, making sure that a friendly staff is ready to assist. Utilizing the various management skills within his staff and his company, Bob is very certain and hopeful for the future of Bob's Burgers.